Hey everybody. We are here at Carmel City Hall and I picked this place because it's somewhere that anybody can Google on Google Maps and find and then figure out somewhat how I... There's a damn car driving on the Monon Trail. City Hall is a place that anybody can put into Google Maps and figure out where I'm leaving from and somewhat follow the route. Uh, today I'm riding my bike to Lowe's, which is a big box hardware store. I have to return an item that I bought yesterday because it uh, doesn't work. So, um, what I'm going to be doing today is just making that ride video in real time with some commentary. Let's just see how I get there, the infrastructure that supports me to get there. And also, I'm going to take a moment to make a bit of a, an announcement about the future of American Feats or the accounts, the brand, the whatever you want to call it. Um, I run American Feats, I created it, and I have some thoughts about how I'm going to handle it uh, going forward, and I want to share that with you. So, let me make sure my audio is working. And then we will get the heck out of here. I, jeez, I think my audio's working. Yes, okay. We're good. I hope. So, we're leaving from City Hall. If you want to get in Google Maps, Google Carmel, Indiana, City Hall. And you can see where I'm leaving from and how if you are anywhere remotely connected to the uh, center line core around the Monon Trail. There's goose crap everywhere. <laughs> uh, how you can use that connected infrastructure to do things, such as go to Lowe's. Now, I shouldn't do this. You're supposed to one way around this, but there's nobody around, and the trail's right here, and I'm on a bike. So let's go. Here, check out this uh, housing's really coming along here, right along the trail. Wouldn't it be great to live right along a rails to trails? Probably expensive, but it's pretty cool. And we're coming into this part of Monon Boulevard, which was just redeveloped. The trail that we're on now has been widened. Almost twice as wide, I think. And so I don't, I don't think they're done with all the finishing touches, but they're getting there. And it's winter. They got most of the Christmas market taken down, but the ice rink is still up. There's people out there skating today. And I'm just keeping the camera forward so you can kind of take in what I'm seeing. We're going to go through this tunnel here. It's kind of hard to see in the daytime, but they painted a mural on it. I'll slow down and maybe you can make out some of it. Maybe not. But now things are going to get a little uglier. Oh, actually, I should show you this. Um, here on the right was a massive strip mall and mostly parking lot and it's now torn down and in the next year or two you should see some nice mixed use development built up here and probably the trail redone to look prettier. It'll look more like what we're going through straight up here. So our ride today will be about probably 15 minutes, maybe. There is a detour that we have to go through. And it's currently zero degrees. So right at the freezing mark, but the humidity is a little bit high. So it makes it a little extra chilly. Um, tilt the camera here so you can at least 
see the infrastructure as I pass it. There's really nobody out here today, but it is 1.40 in the afternoon. And like I said, kind of chilly. Turn it forward a little bit more. I just want to show off more of Monon Boulevard while we're here. There's places to eat over there. Excuse the sniffing. Face is not acclimated yet. Of course, even once my face is frozen, I'll still be sniffing. You people who bike through winter understand that. How many bikes have we had today? Although this counter never counts me on the bock feats. I don't know, the size throws it off. 30, and it caught me today. Cool. This is Main Street. It's a sh traffic sewer. Right. Okay, so we've got a few minutes till we have to get off the trail for a detour. So I wanted to talk to everyone who follows the American Feature account on Twitter and YouTube and even uh, the elephant and mastodon. I don't think I'm anywhere else. <laughs> Not that I'm aware of. Um, so I've been going really hardcore down the rabbit hole on Dutch cycling infrastructure design cargo bikes, e-cargo bikes, e-bikes, everything like that. Uh, even, you know, I learned a lot more about urbanism and city design. I've been, been going really hard on that stuff for five years, roughly. Uh, the end of 2017, daily, uh, <laughs> hours per day, just engaged in uh, trying to inspire people, teach people uh, when I knew I was, when I knew about something I was talking about and uh, just trying to get uh, more people out of cars and onto utilitarian bicycles because that's been my thing but as we just come into 2023 I'm realizing that I think I've hit a point where that's not sustainable for me anymore uh, and I have went back and forth with should I close everything down and just quit, <laughs> fade back into non-online advocate existence, or is there another route that I can take? And even as much as I want to just shut everything and stop, I don't know that I could, but I feel for the sake of my time, <laughs> especially to devote it to other things, and my mental health, uh, I need to take a step back in a permanent way. Um, and that just means doing less, less engagement and less content creation and less, less of all of that uh, for American Feetzer. I will still show up from time to time to share my own media or give my take on something else, try to share uh, inspiration and education where I can. But I think compared to what I've been doing for the past X number of years, my presence is going to be a lot, a lot less. Um, and I'm okay with that. Everybody and their grandmother talks about the Netherlands now. Back when I started it, about five years ago, I felt like one of the few and a handful of people that were really getting the message around. But uh, that's not the case anymore. <laughs> so... Having said that, I want to thank everybody who's been part of American Feature for the past five years and who will continue to be for the near future. A lot of reckless driving. Um, and I will still see you from time to time and engage with you and talk with people and share stuff, but uh, it's going to be a lot less and that will probably be a permanent thing. So, again, thanks to everybody uh, for helping, helping teach me and inspire me and make me feel welcome in this space that 
I knew nothing about uh, before 2017 and my first encounter with Dutch inspiration and education. Okay, so that's the announcement. Let's just get back to the ride because we're over halfway there. We're off the Monon Trail and onto the Hagen Burke Trail. And it's all connected. I just had to take a brief detour, uh, which wasn't too bad. See, nice little ding dong of the bell. He acknowledged me. I didn't scare the crap out of him. <laughs> we all good. What do you think of this bridge, huh? Disconnected from the road, how it should be. There's a wanker in a Mustang GT. Boy, no wonder he doesn't ride a bike in winter or do anything outside of the car in winter. It's probably difficult to pull three inches through six inches of layers. <laughs> yeah, I just said that. <sighs> Cover your kid's ears. Probably should have told you that earlier. So this is great, um, this, this path to get me to Lowe's. It's amazing, I mean, I don't, I've been crossing it, I don't really touch car infrastructure. We're gonna take this trail all the way until we have to cross a roundabout to get over to Lowe's, and then we're there. I've made a video of this ride before, but this was before I did this setup. Uh, it was just a camera mounted to the handlebars I didn't talk, I didn't have my mic, and uh, didn't get much uh, reception as far as viewers, so I think people like this setup better. They like a face, even if it's mine. So we just cycled under a highway, I'm going to cycle under more highway here on this trail. Uh, I love this. this is Great work, Carmel, and whoever else is responsible for this. This is very enabling infrastructure. We're gonna continue here on the Hagen Burke Trail. I love this little bridge here. We can uh, we can stop on it. Stop here. Yeah, so you can see over there the highway and here just a little creek this is a really pretty spot to cross especially in the summer and fall with the foliage so all right we're about there uh, let's see here how should i turn the camera I'll let you see me, but also the traffic off to the side. So when I cross this roundabout, it's somewhat dangerous in my opinion. Uh, so I always, I don't always go the same route. I kind of do the opportunity cross. So whichever way is gonna get me more exposure uh, as far as people seeing me or just me missing cars. Here, you can see it forward. It's a strody roundabout. I hate it. Uh, I think we're gonna take the second crossing. Yeah, the second crossing. I signal with my hand, but I don't think it does any good. They don't stop. I, according to Indiana law, I have to put myself in the crosswalk before I'm in the right of way, but the right of way can still you get still get you dead of way. So yeah, it's just a typical strode. Sucks. So now here we are, pulling into here, pulling into Lowe's. That was a pretty quick ride. Not gonna be a very long video. 
and I don't really have to edit much. Now there's really no bike parking here, so I'll just show you where I park, kind of right near the entrance. Carts. All right, so that's that. I'm gonna tear everything down, go inside and do my return. And that will be the end of the video. Thanks for coming along for the ride. And I'll see you all next time, whenever that might be. Bye.